So many of you have joined us here as a kind of family to talk about a truly important conversation. Our first report was last fall. We called this estate planning for the heart. All of us together, young and old, telling each other how we want to live right to the end. And you sent us emails and photographs sharing your stories. So tonight, ABC's Bill Ritter is back with our conversation together. The responses to our story about end-of-life planning came in waves wanting us to know so many families were inspired by the gym. Well, we're not ready for you to go that soon, so. <laughs> oh, my golf swing's still good. <laughs> With laughter, they shared end-of-life wishes. Grandpa Norb saying he had a good life. I wouldn't prolong anything. But the real surprise was his grandson, who had some specific wishes should something happen to him. That if there was no meaningful communication, that, that I would want. I would want you to, to, to stop trying to intervene. It's called the conversation, and it's turning into a movement. Talking about sex won't make you pregnant, and talking about death won't kill you. Crowds line up to listen to Alexandra Drain, who's leading the charge. You only die once. Think about that for a second. She says have the conversation when death seems far away. My sister-in-law died at 32. She was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer and she died seven months later. We had no idea what she wanted because we never thought we would need to. Meanwhile, young doctors at Kent Hospital breaking new ground and bringing the conversation to their healthy patients. So have you ever talked about this to no. your family before? No, I've never talked to anybody about it. Doctors now know depression rates plummet in families that have had the conversation. They say you need to have two things, an advanced directive and a health care proxy, which answer legal questions about the type of care you want and who should be making the crucial decisions. This is all something of a philosophical U-turn. This is turning away from the science and technology that we can keep people alive forever. Do you ever think, gosh, I wish we had done this years ago? We lost our way a little bit in the science, not thinking about the human nature of medical care. The conversation, perhaps the perfect present in this holiday season. There is no greater gift you can give the people that you love than caring for them in the way that they would want at the end of their lives. And Bill Ritter here right now, Bill. This really is a gift, really to the people who survive us. And doctors tell us, including our own Rich Besser, that the holidays are a perfect time, Diane. Families gathered for this to happen. I'm the perfect example of that. Last night, my eldest daughter, 21 years old, home from college, at dinner, I tell her this story's gonna be on World News tonight. She says, Dad, it's time for us to have a conversation. And you did? We had it right then and there. And you've always said the things to get started, find the sentence that gets it started. I saw it on World News with Diane Sawyer. I think we should have that conversation. We have a whole list of how to get it started, the how-tos on abcnews.com. Look under the conversation. Well, as you say, it is a great thing to do for those who love you and for those you love. Thanks Maybe. so much, Bill. And you'll see everybody online with That's more. It.